Hey everyone, welcome to Avery's seven month update. So disclaimer, before we start this video, um, Avery is actually almost eight months old. <laughs> yeah, she's 10 days away from turning eight months old. So yeah, it's taken me a little bit to get to this video, just like the last video I did that late. So I wanted to do this one late and then time got away from me and I meant to do this a lot earlier and just haven't got around to it, but I'm doing it now. So this is Avery at seven months old. So I will um, go back in my notes and tell you all what Avery was doing right when she turned about seven months old. So first of all, Avery is 17 pounds. I actually took her to the pediatrician the other day because um, she got diagnosed with RSV. We were just making sure she was okay. And when they weighed her, I think she was 17 pounds and three ounces. So she is a big girl. She has a big belly now and she's starting to get rolls and she's starting to chunk up and it's so fun to see. Avery is so observant. She loves to just sit back and watch people. Um, she has been loving uh, when we go to all the trick-or-treat events, seeing all the people, the people watching and just observing everybody. She loves going out and just watching people. And the two people that she loves watching most in the whole world is her two brothers. She loves watching them wrestle around on the floor and be crazy. They are entertainment for her. Um, and I know she so badly wants to get in on that and chase them around and wrestle with them. And it won't be too much longer that she will be chasing, at least crawling after them wherever they go. But that has not happened yet. And I am very nervous when that does happen because that just means that I will have three of them going in three different directions and I'll be losing my mind. Avery loves doing tummy time. She has for a couple months now, but she continues to love doing tummy time. I, I could just put her anywhere, honestly, and she'll just push up on her arms. She hasn't quite figured out the legs and like bending those and putting them under her so that she can crawl, but she will push up um, and look around and then she also loves to do her skydiving pose which she just picks up her arms and her legs and just balances on her belly and we call it her skydiver pose because it looks like she's skydiving or um, other people say it looks like she's swimming uh, so Avery loves doing that she's happy to do that sometimes I'll put her in front of her kick play piano and the piano keys will light up and she loves watching those. So she is content to just do tummy time all the time, which is so funny because a couple months ago she hated tummy time, refused to do it. So now she loves tummy time. Avery is teething so much. She drools like crazy. She always has her fingers or her fists in her mouth. She's chewing on that. I try to give her like different chew toys to chew on, but she doesn't really seem too interested in them. But she is constantly teething. I check all the time in her mouth to see if she has any teeth and nothing yet so we're waiting for those teeth to pop through but um, definitely we'll have days where she's a little more fussy here and there and that is definitely uh, from the teething so unfortunately she does not like the pain from the teething but she is always chewing on her fingers we have been doing different kinds of baby foods with avery um the first couple months i've just kind of focused on vegetables she hates carrots absolutely hates carrots um which is funny because you wouldn't think carrots would be the one that she hates but she does not like carrots and I would still say out of the vegetables, green beans are her favorite. She likes sweet potatoes too. She'll do pretty good on those. Um, the peas, the green peas, she's iffy on. And prunes, she likes prunes. I don't know if prunes are a vegetable or a fruit, but she's okay on prunes. And then just recently we've been doing fruit and she loves the pureed fruit. Although the first time she ever tried apple, she was not a fan of it. She was like making the weirdest faces. Go watch my vlog to see it. But yeah, she 
wasn't sure about apples, but every time I've given her apples after that, she's ate them no problem. And when I give her veggies, she'll only be able to eat about half the container and then she's done. But with the fruit, she will eat the full container every time. She loves the pears and the apples. I haven't done bananas yet though, so we maybe we'll do those tonight. But yeah, so she does really well with that. And then we're still doing oatmeal once a day too. And she does really well with the oatmeal. She loves oatmeal meal so she does really well with that and of course milk she loves her milk huh Avery is starting to get a little bit ticklish when I hold her up I can tickle her sides and I get a little bit of a chuckle out of her I will say at seven months Avery is still not laughing um, but tune in to her eight month update because I might have an update on the laughing um, category for you but as of seven months Avery is not laughing but we do get a chuckle here and there out of her which is so fun to hear Avery gets the biggest smiles when we say her name Avery Bryn or she likes it when we make kissy sounds at her <laughs> her daddy's behind the camera so she sees him and she's looking at him but yeah she likes the kissy sounds and she loves it we go Avery Bryn for some reason we say her name like that or her nickname I don't know why we've named nicknamed her beans and so we'll go beans and she'll smile sometimes at that too huh Avery has been all over the place when it comes to her naps she at seven months she's still pretty much taking three naps a day there will be times where I try to put her down for her third nap and she doesn't take it and she just screeches the whole time and then I go get her but for the most part she is doing her three naps a day the thing that is not consistent is the length of the nap so sometimes she'll take a nap for 20 minutes and sometimes she will nap for three hours and I never know what I'm gonna get with Avery so that's been kind of hard to deal with as far as sleeping through the night at seven months Avery is um, getting up probably about once a night I would say and it just kind of varies when she gets up sometimes it's 2 30 sometimes it's 4 sometimes it's 5 5 30 so it just kind of depends as you can see Avery is still wearing her helmet um, she does really well with it we've actually seen really great progress with her helmet results we have one more appointment coming up in about two weeks and at that appointment they'll kind of tell us if she's done or if they think she could benefit from a second helmet so we are waiting to see if we are done or if we're halfway <laughs> in the process so we will see but um, so far her head has rounded out so much so right now we're just trying to focus on getting her ears to be symmetrical and then she has some facial asymmetry as well. So just trying to see if her head's going to fix itself or if it needs a little more help. But back to sleeping at night, there will, I would say about once a week, uh, Avery will sleep through the night just randomly. But other than that, she usually wakes up about once, which isn't too bad. Avery has finally come around to enjoying being in her car seat. In the beginning, she really didn't like it and anywhere we would go, she would complain the whole time. But I think she's just gotten so used to being in the car seat. We take her so many places. I take her, you know, to and from picking up my son from preschool or just running around town that she's just had to get used to it. She's gotten a lot better in the car seat. She falls asleep in the car seat now, take naps. Um, and seems to tolerate a lot better. In fact, we took her on her first trip up to Toledo, which was about a two hour drive, and she did really well in that and slept for a little bit, but then mostly just like was happy to just sit in her car seat and look around, so that was really nice. Avery still loves bath time. I still, at seven months, I still have her in the sink, but she's quickly getting a little bit too big for that. So um, pretty soon I'm going to switch her to the tub. We have like a seat that we put in the tub that she will sit in. Um, so getting ready for that. But she loves the bathtub. She plays with the water. She puts her hand under the water coming out of the sink, spout, whatever. And 
loves playing with that or she'll splash in the water and she loves playing in the water and um, doesn't complain. Her favorite toys I would say are anything that makes the crinkle sound. She loves crinkly toys. We have quite a few of those and she likes to crinkle them. She also loves her kick play piano and recently she got a love every play mat and she likes that too because it's got a mirror on it and like a ball that makes a ringing sound when she hits it so she loves those as well. She lights up anytime she sees her reflection in the mirror. She loves looking at herself, which is super cute to see. So anytime she's a little bit fussy or grumpy, I'll take her to go look at herself in the mirror and then she stops fussing and starts smiling at herself, which is so cute. Avery likes to make this face. We call it her frog face and she just basically tucks her lower lip like in to her mouth. If I have a picture, I'll put that in here. It's so funny and so cute. It's like she's making a funny face. We call it her frog face. I don't think she even realizes she's doing it. It's just a cute little quirk that she does that Anthony and I think is super fun. Avery loves being faced outward when we hold her. She likes to be able to see everything and see where she's going. As of seven months, she, her neck control still isn't that great, but it's getting better. Um, she's so close to the point where I can put her on my hip and just like carry her around. So I'm hoping that she gets that next drink soon. She has no desire to sit. <laughs> We've been told by the pediatrician that she needs to work on that. She should be sitting by now. In fact, at this time, my son Grayson at this age was crawling and Avery has yet to even sit, but she refuses to sit. She doesn't like it. Instead, she just wants to stand, as you guys are seeing. She loves standing. Um, she's got strong legs, but the sitting, she has no desire to do. Um, so we're still trying to work on that, but she has no desire to sit and no desire to crawl. She's just, a, I've been calling her a potato. She's just a happy potato. She just lays around, watches people. She's easy. Just towards the end of this month though, I will say she has been enjoying facing inward like this while I hold her and getting some extra cuddles from me. And also that's where I can usually get a chuckle or two out of her by tickling her side. For some reason she has to be facing towards me and I have to be holding her to get the chuckle. I don't know, she's very particular. And 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 we have a new friend to invite Grayson. <gasps> what, did you, what did you make? A turtle. A turtle. That looks awesome, dude. Yeah, I made it for my new white wife and old white wife. Oh, wow. That looks great. But anyway, that's about it for Avery. So sorry that this is coming well into her seventh month and she's almost eight months. So, of course, I'm going to have to delay her eight month update. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any specific questions about Avery that you want to know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye bye Avery. <gasps> Say bye bye. Bye 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 bye. bye, -bye. See you all later. Say bye bye. I'm true monster. I'm drooling all over. Bye 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 bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>